Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's Infosys pseudocode questions. Now, guys, this uh, pseudocode questions were asked today in slot one. So, guys, make sure that you watch this till the end so that you can get to know the type of the questions which are getting asked in the Infosys exam. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel now, please subscribe it as well as join my Telegram groups. Also, I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So, guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button. Okay, so guys, the first question here is we are given uh, this entire uh, pseudocode and we have to find the output for n is equal to 37. So first of all, we will write all the variables that are given to us. Th that way it will make it lot easier to solve. So first of all, for n is equal to 37. So n value is given to us as 37. Okay, now then uh, read n we have done i is equal to 0. So again, i value has been given to us as 0. Initial value of i is equal to 0. Now, while n mod 10 is not equal to 0. So while this loop is running, some per, uh, operations will be performed and after loop is over, then some per, uh, then some operations will be performed and in the end, we have to give the final value of n. So while n mod 10 is equal to uh, not equal to 0, then this loop will run. So currently our n is 37. So 37 mod 10, uh, mod 10 is equal to, it is 7. So 7 is not equal to 0. So what we'll do, we will go inside this while loop so now our n value is equal to n is equal to n plus 3 so n is equal to n plus 3 means n is equal to n plus 3 37 plus 3 so now its uh, value has been updated to 40 okay so now this value has been updated to 40 so i will just update it here so now our n value is 40 now moving to next line uh, we are doing i plus plus in this loop so now i plus plus our initial value of i was 0 now we have done i plus plus so now it has become 1 so we have done this situation we have uh, read this line so after this line is over again we will go back to the above condition because it is a while loop uh, many things occur uh, every operation is performed till this uh, till this condition is fulfilled now our n value is 40 now we will what we'll do uh, we will check and again we will check n mod 10 so n mod 10 that is 40 mod 10 it is equal to 0 now it has this value is 0 now uh, this while loop will only run the statements inside this while loop will only run when this value when this value is not equal to 0 so since we have got a 0 value so this uh, condition breaks and now we will move outside of the while loop so now we will move here that is end of file has happened now we will uh, 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 now next statement will be uh, processing so n is equal to n plus i so n is equal to n plus i that is 40 plus i that is 1 so it is equal to 41 now uh, this line has also been processed and now in the end we have to write the value of n that is we have to print the value of n or in that uh, in your case we have to uh, select the correct option so our correct option will be 41 so for n is equal to 37 our final answer will be 41 guys this uh, question is uh, repeating many times but again this is sometimes what they do they simply change the value for 37 the code remains same but now your input value will not be 37 it will be 35 it will be it can be 36 so they can they keep on changing the values for this question so for n is equal to 37 the answer is 41 that you will be returning so i hope this question is clear to you now we will sing the next question okay so guys the next question is what will be the output of the given pseudocode if our n value is equal to 8 so first of all again the values that are given to us we will write them, them so n is equal to 8 and uh, now uh, we will uh, read the entire pseudocode line by line. So first of all, read the value of n. So we have written n is equal to 8. Initialize i to 5. Initialize i value to 5. So i is equal to 5. Okay. Now while loop is there, while i is less than n, do, then we have to uh, perform this particular operation till this condition is fulfilled. So i is equal to 5 n is equal to 8 so uh, first we'll check whether this condition is fulfilled while i is less than n so 5 is less than 8 so yes this condition is fulfilled now what we'll do we will increase the sum by i so what does it means see here they have forgot to given a line we have to initialize sum also that is equal to 0 we will also have to initialize this variable also so inside this while loop well when we are inside this while loop we have to for every iteration increase the sum by i so it means that we have to do this sum is equal to sum plus the current value of i so uh, now our sum was initially 0 so 0 plus i that is 5 it will be 5 so now our new value of sum has now become uh, 5 okay so just a second oh, okay so now our new value of sum has become 5 so what we'll do uh, we will update it here 
so are now the current value of sum has become five and after this uh, condition uh, uh, after this statement has run now we have to uh, move to the next statement and it is increment i that is we have to do i plus plus so now what we'll do instead of five we will do six now again since it is a while loop it will again check the condition while i is less than n so six is less than eight so yes we will go inside the loop again we will increase the sum by i that means sum by i means sum is equal to sum plus i that is five plus six that is equal to 11 so now our updated value of sum has become uh, updated value of sum has become 11 and now we will again move to the next iteration that is increment i so again our now value will become 7 okay so now again we will check this condition while 7 is less than n so yes it is less than n again we will increment uh, the sum by i so sum is equal to 11 plus i that is 11 plus 7 that is equal to 18 so again after this statement has encountered we will increment the i at it has now become uh, i has now become 8 again we will check the while condition while i is less than n so no in this case while is uh, while i is not less than n so this while loop will break and we will move out of this while loop and the next statement that is this statement will be executed that is write sum so we will simply have to return the value of sum that is 18 so this is our final answer for this particular pseudocode so i hope this question is also clear to you now we will move into the next and the last question of this video okay so guys the next question here is what will be the number of stars that will be printed by the given pseudocode when our input is 25 so uh, we have to print we have to send the number of stars that will be printed so let's just see please enter a number and read input so our number is given to us as is 25 so n value is equal to 25 so n value is equal to 25 now repeat while input is greater than 0 so this is input that is input here is n value so i will just rename it so let me just rename it it is not n it is input so input is equal to 25 while our input is greater than 0 we have to perform these steps and in the end what we do we have to uh, end the while loop and we have to return the number of stars that will be printed so first our input is 25 so we will move inside the loop because this condition is satisfied input is greater than 0 so this condition is satisfied now what we'll check uh, inside this while loop there are three conditions given that is if else if and else if so it means that out of these three conditions at a particular instance only one condition can run so we will first check if input is greater than 0 and input is less than 10 then we have to write star then we have to write a star that is we have to simply print the star else if, if our input is greater than 10 and input is less than 20 then we have to write double star and uh, next condition is if our input is greater than 20 and input is less than equal to 30 then we have to print triple star so first of all we will move inside this while loop and you can see uh, out of these three conditions for the first iteration this last condition that is if our input is greater than 20 is satisfied so it means we will what we'll do we will simply print three stars and after this uh, uh, condition is fulfilled we are doing input minus minus so now our input will become 24 now our input will become 24 because we have done input minus minus so again this while loop will occur and input is greater than 0 so 24 is greater than 0 yes so again these three conditions will be checked and again three stars will be printed because our uh, input value lies in this range so again three stars will be printed so uh, we will do this uh, we will uh, keep on doing this for the uh, till input value is greater than zero but you can see that for, uh, input value started from 25 and uh, this particular if condition is running till 20 so what we'll do uh, so it means that this if condition is running from the value 21 to 25 so it means that for uh, five iterations that is from 21 to 25 three stars are printed per iteration so what we'll do we will just uh, simply do three star for finding the answer we will do three star into five because uh, these are the uh, 15 uh, uh, for five iterations three stars are getting printed so 15 is our answer for till uh, from 21 to 25 now uh, again again on 20, 21 when we'll do my input minus minus input value will become 20 so input value will now become 20 so for that iteration from 10 greater, uh, from input greater than 10 till input less than equal to 20 this particular condition will run that is from 11 to 20 this particular iteration will run so it means that double stars will be printed how many times it will be printed it will be printed 10 times because, because from 11 to 20 uh, double stars are getting printed so it will be 20 so uh, the uh, this ran for uh, 5 iteration this ran for 10 iteration now uh, once our uh, input value one will become 11 we will again do input minus minus and now it will be converted into 10 so now our input value will become 
sorry uh, input value will become now 10 so for uh, input value of 1 to 10 for input value of 1 to 10 this if condition will be running this if condition will be running so our, and for every iteration only one star will be printed so single star into 10 because from 1 to 10 this are running so 10 stars will be uh, 10 stars will be printed so total stars how many total stars are there 15 plus 20 that is 35 and plus 10 that is 45 so 45 is the correct answer for this particular question so i hope this question was clear to you and this question was the last question of this video i hope you like the video because more such videos will be coming in future so kindly subscribe the channel for such videos thank you for watching this video